Hey garden friends, I'm back and uh, guess what? It's another unboxing. Uh, sorry if I'm kind of boring with these unboxings, but uh, this it just so happened that I got two packages this week and I wanted to share them with you. Um, this is uh, this was not expected. I uh, it's one of my good plant buddies out in Oregon. He uh, I guess thought of me and uh, mentioned one of the plants that he's growing. It is a uh, Chilean guava. Now, the Chilean guava, I've tried to grow this numerous times here in Virginia, and um, <clears throat> I just keep failing. I think it's the heat. Pretty sure it's the heat, um, because every time I try to grow it, uh, it's fine until we hit like mid, late summer, and we're hitting 90. And then the plants look terrible, and then they die off. It looks like I, um, um, I don't know, threw them in a fire. So, because this, this spring I got maki berry. It's a Chilean maki berry. I tried that too. It was looking super, looking good, growing all of a sudden. When we get to hit those high temperatures around, um, around upper 90s, mid upper 90s, with a hot humidity. Man, those, those four plants look like they, uh, like I mentioned, they look like they, I threw them in a fire. So I lost my Mackey Berry. I am going to try it again. And this, um, <clears throat> it was sent to me. Uh, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to see if I can, this time when it gets hot, I'm going to bring the plants inside. So let's take a look at what, what, what I got. And how cool is this? So not only did uh, I get sent some plants, a couple of plants I got actual fruit to try because every time I tried to grow the dang fruit, I mean the, the Chilean guava, um, it was flowering and everything. It was starting to hold fruit. Then by the time I got the summer, plant looked like um, death. So finally got some berries to try and uh, or I guess you can call these guavas. So we'll try this out. <clears throat> but here is such a cute plant. Look at this. So we got this Chilean guava, the beautiful leaves, and I'm gonna care for this and uh, make sure I bring it in in the summer once we get starting to get real hot. So, uh, and I also I'm gonna order another maki berry. I'm on the wait list, and uh, I'll try both of these out again. And uh, this is gonna be like the third, maybe fourth try. Him try at Chilean guava. But I think I'm going to make it work this time. I'm going to pay special attention to it. And a uh, special thanks to Mike. Good buddy out there. Is uh, thinking of me and sent this. So I uh, just wanted to share this quick, super quick video with you. I'll get it potted up and I'll keep you posted on how it does. All right, guys. I'll see you around. Thanks. Well guys, I thought about it and I, think, well, I was just thinking, well, I'll go ahead and uh, make this a taste testing too. So, well, I went ahead and opened the bag. When you open the bag, it smells, it's got a nice scent. It smells like strawberries, like like strawberries and actually it smells like, um, almost like strawberry tree fruit. The scent, um, it tastes, it, it smells really good. I've never tasted these before. I don't know if these are, I'm, I'm pretty sure these probably are not picked at the uh, peak of ripeness, just so they probably picked a little early so they can get to me okay. But um, let's take a close look at one. So here, here is, oh my lighting's terrible, but here's one of the fruits and that's what it looks like. And then I wash these two off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll do a bricks test on one. Hopefully I can get enough juice out of them to get a bricks reading. This one feels pretty like, um, I don't know, soft and maybe juicy. I'm gonna carefully cut it. Oh, it just kind of squirted out the back end here. So let's just smear that on our bricks meter here. 
and hopefully that's enough. I see the seeds in there. Let me see if I can get a reading. Um, it's looking kind of like 13. We'll go ahead and try it. Let's try it here. So this is what it looks like. Um, let's get a close-up view. I'm gonna change my lighting around. So there we go. Now you can see. So here and okay, there we go. So it's got the um, little seeds in there. This it's like a blueberry almost. It's just like a funny looking blueberry. We'll go ahead and try it. It's um it's got like um it tastes sort of like you're eating a blueberry, but that's way milder. There's no tart in it at all. Maybe it's a little bit in the skin. A little kind of like mealy-ish with some sweet. Um, and as the bricks reading showed us, it was not really real sweet as far as the sugar ratio in there. But it sure looks like a little fun plant to grow. And I think in the Northwest, it's a whole lot easier to grow because it doesn't necessarily get too hot over there. Maybe somebody in um, on this side, if you're able, able to grow it, maybe you can give me some tips on how to get this thing growing on the East Coast uh, with our heat and humidity. But I guess that's it. Um, again, many thanks to Mike and sending this to me. I'm really gonna um, enjoy these and share it with my family if they want to try it. And uh, all right, guys. That's it for this time for sure.